telling time to the hour and the half hour. Remember that the clock is an instrument that we use to measure time or tell us what time it is. The clock has two hands, the short hand, which tells us the hour, and the long hand that tells us the minutes. Hours. The short hand marks the hour. There are 12 hours shown on the clock. There are 24 hours in one day because the clock only shows 12 at a time. We use the same clock twice in the 24 hours that make a day. Minutes. The long hand marks the minutes. There are 60 minutes in one hour. When the long hand is on the 12, it is a new hour and we say o'clock because there are zero minutes in that hour. And when the long hand is on the six, we say and a half because it is 30 minutes past the hour or half of an hour. How to tell the hour. The short hand is on the six and the long hand is on the 12. That means it is six o'clock, which means zero minutes of the sixth hour. The hour hand. The hour hand moves very slowly between one hour and the next hour. Right now you can see the short hand is in between the seven and the eight, and the long hand is pointing to the six. That means that the time is 7.30, or half past the hour, or 7.30 with numbers. The hour hand is always in front of the hour that it represents. Let's practice. What time is it? Look at the first clock. You can see that the hour hand, which is blue, is in between the numbers one and two. That means that the hour is going to be one. And for the minutes, you can see that the minute hand is playing to the six, which means it's 30 minutes past the hour, or 1.30, or you can write the number 1.30. Now let's look at the second clock. You can see that the short hand is pointing at the three, which means that the hour is three. And the long hand is pointing at the 12, which means there aren't any minutes past three. That means it's three o'clock or the number three, a colon, and two zeros.